Hey guys, I just finished doing red light therapy and I thought I'd share something that I've been experiencing lately with red light therapies. So recently this area here has been really itchy and weepy and scabby so it's my problematic area at the moment and i noticed that um i've been doing red light therapy every day and i stand pretty close to the panel um i had no problems with it but recently i noticed that my skin gets too warm um, when I stand too close to it and then it causes the itchiness so I've started to stay a little bit further away from the panel and I try and cool my skin down with a fan um, but yeah I know that some people get triggered by standing too close to the red light panel so um, if you're experiencing the same thing try and stand further away from it because that helped me to calm the itch so yeah, that's my update. So I just um, did a dead sea salt bath and then the red light therapy. And oh, actually, actually I started putting in apple cider vinegar in my dead, salt, dead sea salt bath. And a quick update on red light therapy. I actually started doing five minutes on each side. So a total of 10 minutes instead of 20. But the 10 minute is automatically set. So um maybe i was doing too much um before so yeah i just do five minutes on the front five minutes at the back hey guys i just woke up and i just wanted to quickly chat about my skin um so these couple of weeks uh, my skin hasn't been the best and prior to that i had good skin for like a few weeks and then <clears throat> While I had good skin, I was kind of worried about my next flare because I know that TSW isn't a linear healing process and that the flares come in cycles. So, so there's three stages of the healing process. First, you have the inflamed stage where you have the flare up. And then the second stage is the flaky stage. And the third stage is the clear skin phase. And then after that, you have clear skin for a while and then you have another cycle which is the flare the flaky and the clear skin and every cycle you go through it gets better and better so the flare isn't as bad as it was before and the clear skin phase gets longer and longer so the time between each flare becomes longer and longer so i knew that there was going to be another flare um, so I was worried as I had good skin. I didn't want to go through, you know, that weepy, horrible stage again. So I was a bit worried. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, I started, I scratched my face a little bit and then it got weepy. And then, and then from then I went back into that scabby phase and it was just like lingering around. And then my arms started to get really itchy and it felt like the skin was like so thin, like, when i first started tsw so if i scratched it it would just like become raw skin and yeah it wasn't like my recent skin i could tell that it was really thin and then i was just going about my day and then i realized hey this may be the flare that i was worried about and if it is then it's not as bad as i thought it would be um so i hope that this is the flare that I was worried about because I was thinking of a much more worse flare. Um, so yeah, if this is the flare, then this is as bad as it would get. So um, it's not bad at all. So yeah, so then when I recover from this flare, I would have better skin than I did in my previous flare cycle, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I feel like I am going through the next flare cycle. So yeah, that was my update. Good morning, everyone. So it's been a while since I have been in a gym wear, which means that I am going to work out after so long. So I've been wanting an exercise bike for so long because I used to do like a home workout 
um, on YouTube, but I noticed that my skin was hurting from like stretching it too much and that's kind of why I stopped doing it. So I wanted an exercise bike for so long. I finally got it yesterday. So I'm gonna be doing that from today and I'm really excited to try it. So yeah, I'm about to do it. So I'll show you guys how it goes. Hey guys, I just came back from the shops to get a few things for a charity called the Operation Operation Christmas Box, and it's a charity where you get a you where you get uh, where you get a shoebox and fill it up with toys, hygiene items, school supplies, and and then it gets sent to children in need for as a Christmas present. And I've been wanting to do that for a while. So I went to Kmart and bought a few goodies. It was so fun shopping for them. So I want to show you guys what I got. First up, it's personalizable pencil case. Oh, before I start, I you can pick like the age groups and the gender. So I picked a girl in the years five to nine. I think this is really cute and I'm such a child at heart so I get so excited looking at toys at the shops so this was so fun for me and I know which toys I would have wanted and like loved as a kid so it was so fun picking out these toys and a little comb set with a scrunchie and clips and I also got this dress I got this I got a size 9 because because the age group is 5 to 9 and I don't want the clothes to be too small for the child um so I got the size 9 so that even if they're small they can grow into it or they can just wear it I think it goes really well with the pink and purple theme and so this one is a skipping rope with like a jump rope and also how cute is this a koala fluffy notebook hey guys i'm in a new flare unfortunately my face gets really itchy at night and it got really weepy like the thing is while i'm in a flare i feel like my skin gets really thin and a little, little rub or a little scratch does a lot of damage so that's what happened and it was weeping so much i could feel the ooze running down my cheek and it was disgusting and really flaky it's mainly itchy on this side of my face and my arms were very itchy last night it's been pretty itchy the last couple of days and as you can see one of my nail popped off so I haven't been able to redo them yet and even though it's really short the edges of the nails are really sharp so it did a lot of damage to my arms and so this morning i quickly just put a little bit of gel that's why it's a bit shiny i don't know if you can see i put a gel on, on <laughs> this one popped off as well um, i put a gel on the edges so they're nice and round should have done it sooner before I damaged my skin and my legs have lots of scratches as well so it's not it doesn't feel great but I'm just hoping that the clear skin phase after this phase is much better than the clear skin phase from before so I've got high hopes for that but yeah this is just 
where I'm at right now, it's not the best. Hey everyone, please don't mind the pseudo cream on my face. My face is my face is pretty weepy today, and I just slapped on some pseudo cream. I got a package delivered today. I want to open it with you guys. So I ordered this a couple of days ago. Um, I don't know if you guys know or heard about CMOS, but I've been hearing about it um, recently and I've heard so many good things about it. So I ordered one myself. And it looks, whoa, there we go. It looks like this. 100% organic wild crafted sea moss gold. I got the one called gold There was a few more options, but this one is the flavorless one. So People add it in like smoothies or you can actually use it topically um, But I'm gonna try and take it consume it um, With like my smoothies to see how how it works. I hope I really hope this works for me. There's so many benefits um, in taking sea moss. Obviously, it it's said to improve the skin, and also there's like so many other benefits as well. So if you're interested. Just search it up on Google and it comes up. Morning everyone. So I just woke up to this. And I'm just so over it. Like, it feels disgusting. I just, <laughs> after being in a pretty good state for, for a while, it's so hard to experience the flare and the weepy stage again it's like I was I'm going to I'm going to Japan in a month and I'm just like feeling a little bit hopeless and rushed and I'm just I don't know what to do if my skin's not good <laughs> To be honest, I don't want to go. I'm going for three months and I don't want to go for that long because I'll be like staying at people's house. Like, well, it's my, some will be my parent, my grandparents' house, but it's still like not my house. So I won't be as, you know, relaxed. And I just think three months is too much. But the thing is, the lease is ending in a month so we have nowhere to go so that's why we decided to fly to japan because we were gonna go anyways and we thought we'll just go when the lease ends so we'll pack everything up and leave it in a storage unit storage unit and then fly to japan and then we're gonna spend christmas and new years with my boyfriend's family so that'll be like November, December, January. And then because January, the flights in January were really expensive, we decided to fly back on the first week of February. So that's like a full three months. And I'm just like, oh, that's way too long. And I'm worried about my skin. Like if I flare, where am I gonna hide? Because I want to be only with like the people that know my condition, like my boyfriend, when I'm flaring, so I don't have to feel insecure and just like worry about a lot of things. <sighs> I haven't told my grandparents and my relatives about it yet, so maybe that's why I feel like this. I'm six months in, and by the time I'm in Japan, I'll be like seven months in. And I booked this flight like at the beginning, not the beginning of this year, maybe like two, three months ago. And I was thinking that by the time I'll be going there, 
my skin will be somewhat in a good state like a nearly like a nearly healed state but they don't look like that to me this is so sad i'm gonna hop in the dead sea salt bath today and i'm gonna try something new so i've been putting dead sea salt and apple cider vinegar in my bath but i decided to put in some oats i've heard so many good things about it and the reason why i decided to do that is because whenever i do the bath like it soothes my skin but when i hop out it like dries my skin out a lot like even like more than it is now so <clears throat> and oats have like a moisturizing um uh what do you call it a moisturizing factor moisturizing factor um i can't find the right word for it but it's meant to moisturize your skin so and i've heard so many good things about it so i'm gonna try and do that today so that it doesn't dry my skin out a lot I just hope my skin's going to be better by then, by in a month. I'm going to drop the salt in. And apple cider vinegar. 150 mils. Okay, so I just finished red light therapy. And... The flakes are looking much better after after the bath, but the stiffness and the dryness is still definitely there. I don't, I don't personally see the difference immediately just yet, um, but while I was in the bath, it felt really moisturizing. Like I was, I kept on squeezing out the liquid um from the oats and you could see that it was really white and slimy almost um and the water was completely cloudy and um yeah it was it felt moisturizing but right now it feels really dry and stiff So I'm in the middle of a flare. It started slowly a few weeks ago and now I'm like, it's gotten worse so much in the last few days. And it's honestly really devastating to see myself like this after going through the clear skin phase. I knew a new cycle was gonna come, but to be in it it's really hard and it's really difficult to accept the reality um and yeah i've been having emotion like i've been so emotional recently it's probably because i'm close to my period and maybe that's contributing to the flare as well but yeah like i don't know how many times i've cried like in the in the past in the in the past week um and i've been talking to my mom i've been talking to my boyfriend about it and i thought i'd share it with you guys as well so um i i don't know where to start but with tsw like the thing i'm dealing with there's no way out except to keep going i feel like because even if I don't want to do it anymore, even if I want to quit, I just, I can't quit because there's no way to, you know, like 
if I go back to using steroids, I'm going to have to do this all over again. And th there's just no way out except to keep going and to overcome this and go to the other side. So that was really hard for me because um, the other day I felt like I've had enough and I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, it's just so hard. I, I want to quit, blah, blah, blah. But there is no way to quit. And that's what kind of upset me. Like, I, I didn't want to quit, but in that moment, I was just having an emotional breakdown and, and realized that there is no way out except to keep going. And I don't know if you guys believe what I believe, but I'm a spiritual person and I'm not forcing my way of thinking with you guys, but I'm just going to share what um, how I think of things. So we all have a lesson to learn and that's in a soul level. So me going through TSW, it's a lesson that, that's coming with TSW, if you know what I mean. So my soul had a lesson to learn and because we're in the physical world, we need something, something physical that can bring us the lesson and that thing doesn't can be anything and for me it was tsw and if i don't overcome this it's gonna stay with me forever until i overcome it so even if i take my life for example because that's one of that's one option to quit right like you don't want it to be but it is right but in reality even if i do my soul will still have an unfinished lesson and when i come back to the physical world i i'll still have to finish the lesson that i haven't finished and it will come in different forms it may not be tsw the next time but right now it is and i don't want to do that for myself i want to end it here so that's why i don't i don't want to quit because i don't have the options to but that's what keeps me going i just want to get it over and done with because I, i'll have to deal with it anyways at some point in my life or in in another life um i'm a very spiritual person so i think this way but i'm not forcing you guys to think the same so i'm just sharing my personal opinion